cigarette. Bad for Turkish man. Victor! What's the news? You sure that's how you spell meticulous? I think you better check in dictionary. Is he in? Neil! Who is it? It's me, Stefan. I talked to Monty. Headquarters uh, document will be ready in the next 48 hours. I was afraid of that. Oh, so I take it you have not made contact with General Kamal. I sense a hundred francs coming my way. Listen, Stefan, don't start counting your winnings yet. What's we've been through together? Have you ever known me to lose a bet? Ankara, but you would never admit it. Well, I found a way to meet Kamal. When the red document arrives, I'll be ready. I think this girl Molly is helping you. Listen, just leave Molly out of this, all right? She has no idea what's going on. To her, I'm just a Swedish journalist, and I intend to keep it that way. Henry, you are emotionally involved. Not good idea in spy business. It makes your loyalties very cloudy. Stefan, we're too good of friends for you not to trust me. I trust you. Does Molly? Sometimes I miss the land where I was born, Sweden. But I wanted to learn about the rest of the world. And so I became a journalist. Now, what did I say was the most important thing that the journalist should do? Tell the truth. That's right, to tell the truth. So, shall I tell you the truth now? The truth of it is, I have nothing more to say. <laughs> Unless, of course, someone would like to ask me a question. Yes? Are you married, Mr. Anderson? No, the truth of it is, Mr. Anderson is not married. <laughs> well, children, I think now we should let Mr. Anderson get back to his very important work. Shall we thank him? Thank you so much. Wash your hands. It's a great honor to meet you, Khalid Adib Hanum. I'm a great admirer of your writings. I was thinking of writing an article for Stockholm about Turkish nationalism. And I was wondering if you could arrange a meeting for me with General Mustafa Kemal. Who, oh, I? I hardly know him. But in a way, you and he represent the two sides of Turkish nationalism. You, the author and educationist, and he, the hero of the Battle of Gallipoli. It would be an important article. I'll have nothing to do with the political moves against the government at this time of crisis. But it would be a fair report, being an unbiased journalist. But I would need to interview Mustafa Kemal to get the views of the people who really disagree with the government. You know that he spends most of his time with his troops at the front. But I see what I can do. Thank you. dinner with me tonight at the Para Palace? The Para Palace? It's special. How special? You'll find out. Eight o'clock? Alida says she's afraid things are going to be very bad for Turkey when the war is over, and she wants me to stay and help out at the orphanage. Oh. I was hoping that you'd come home with me. To Sweden? Yes, to Sweden. Molly, will you marry me? Yes. Don't you know I'd follow you to the end of the earth? I didn't dare buy your ring, but I got you this present at the bazaar. It's a bracelet. It's very old. It's beautiful. Will you put it on me?
Yes. Dare buy a ring. You must have known I loved you. Molly, I... Nels, let's always be honest with each other. We will, I promise. We'll be here by Tuesday. That's not much time. Tell him I'll be ready. Good luck. I have some good news for you, Mr. Anderson. Taste it, taste it. Shh, 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 Jolly. Görüyorsun ki konuklarımız var. We have visitors. Ama ben seni istiyorum. Benimle oynar mısın? Sen şimdi odana arkadaşlarının yanına git. Ben birazdan yanına geleceğim, tamam mı? A strong little creature. And yet what she needs most is simply to know that she is loved. I brought her with me from Syria. I don't know whether she's Turkish, Armenian or Kurdish. At first she was too shocked even to speak. I believe she saw her parents butchered before her eyes. Now you see, Mr. Anderson, why this terrible war must end. Yes. You said you have some news for me? Oh, yes. A friend of mine spoke to General Mustafa Kemal about you. He has agreed to an interview. He suggests five o'clock this evening at Hotel Parapalas. Will that be convenient? Yes, yes, of course. Thank you. General Kemal sir. Buyurun efendim. Bu tarafta. Önemli edilmiş bir haber var. Buyurun hanım var. Mr. Anderson sir. See me, sir. It's a great honor to meet the hero of Gallipoli. There were many heroes at Gallipoli. Unfortunately, the victory we won there has since been squandered. Sit down. What did you want to ask me? Oh, well, sir, I had the great pleasure of meeting uh, Halid Adib, and uh, she spoke of the great importance of uh, Turkish identity. Taking pride in your own language and also in a national character. I was wondering if you agree. Agree? Those are the very things I've set out to achieve. She's a very intelligent woman. She's an idealist. I'm a soldier. I fight to get things done. And at present, you are fighting under the command of the Germans. Presumably, you have a combined strategy. But are you satisfied with that? The German strategy seems to be come and defeat us, if you can. A German officer said to me the other day at the palace, Turkish soldiers always run away. I said, Turkish soldiers never run away unless their officers run away first. And in this case, their officers are mostly German. <laughs> Write it down, print it. My opinions are well known. Thank you, sir. So, uh... It must be quite difficult fighting with German allies when your aims and objects are so different from theirs. What do you imagine to be my aims and objects? I would assume the return of Syria by France to Turkish influence after the war, uh, the reestablishment of the authority to Turkey of the possessions of the Ottoman Empire. I have no interest in preserving the Ottoman Empire. I'm interested in maintaining the integrity of Turkish borders and in building the future of this nation. Sir, if the French could guarantee this, you might be interested in making a separate peace? Tell me, Mr. Anderson. 
Are you here as an interviewer or emissary? Beg your pardon, sir? Are you empowered to make that offer? Not precisely, sir. But as a citizen of a neutral country, I was asked to use my good offices to discover whether such an approach by the French government would be welcome. In principle or in fact? Well, sir, if you were to say that you might be interested in principle, then it would be possible for me to contact you again with the precise terms. Obviously, I can make no such response. No, 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 sir, but if I could... I shall be leaving for the front very soon. Yes, sir. Let me arrange another meeting with you before I leave. By the way, I hear that you have a charming friend at the American Orphanage. American girls are so delightful, aren't they? It's me, Stefan. Come in. HQ signal about a courier coming with the document. Monty? Yeah. Says he'll be in the usual place at... Oh, great, that's in half an hour. They usually don't cut it so fine. Do you think it's been intercepted? Let's hope not. Burn this and mind the office for me, will you? Henry, you be careful. Aren't I always? No, I would say not always. I'll be back in an hour, Mahmoud. Monte died on the way to the hospital. And no sign of the briefcase or the red document? What exactly is this document? It contained the French terms for a separate peace with Kamal. Ever since the war minister committed Turkey to the German cause, the army's become more and more disillusioned with the Sultan. Because the Germans are prepared to fight to the last drop of Turkey's blood. They don't trust the war minister. But they do trust General Kamal. He gave them victories, and they love him for it. He's against the war minister and everything that he stands for. If Kamal can be persuaded to make a separate peace, then Turkey can get out of the war before any more losses build up. Do you think he will agree? It depends on the terms. What are the terms? I don't know. But they were in the document that Mani was carrying. If it has fallen into wrong hands, Kamal will be discredited in the eyes of the army. But who, apart from us, knows that Monty was our courier? And the time, and the place. A black marketeer. Someone like Foscari. He wouldn't know about Monty. Foscari would know if he was sleeping with your wife. If there was money in it. Let's just hope it was Foscari. And then we can get it back before he has a chance to sell it to someone else. Stefan? Vastly, check your contact at the palace and Nico the secret police. There's a diplomatic reception tomorrow at the palace. Yes. Mr. Nils Anderson of Stockholm has been invited as a member of the press. My people may have something about that. Mm -hmm. 
This is uh, Mr. Nils Anderson of the Balkan News Agency, Your Highness. Oh, you're Swedish, aren't you, Mr. Anderson? Yes, sir. There is so much uh, propaganda published against us and our good friends, the Germans, uh, that it is uh, good uh, to have impartial observers working here. Uh, I'm glad to see you. Thank you, sir. It is with serene confidence that I look forward to the summit epoch that will follow our eventual victory in this great conflict. Ascari has the red document, but he won't sell. I think he's holding out for more money. He has been watching Monty for some time. I think he must have known that this was special consignment. How could he have known unless someone from our My side... My informant says Germans know about it too. Do they? Let's just hope we get there first. He hasn't left. I've been watching the place all night. Be careful, he may be armed. Ascari. Ascari. is wrong. He works for the Germans. He's called the Wolf. I think he's one of your group. What? It can't be. Stop it! God's sake, we needed him. What happened? We lost him, but we got the paper. Best we go. Come on. I don't think so. He was terrified. I'm not so sure. He said there was a double agent. It was one of our people. The wolf. This 
This is all wrong. What's wrong? This isn't what we expected from headquarters at all. There's no way he could have accepted this. And what was in the offer? If this would fall into the wrong hands, it'd be branded as a traitor. His influence over the Turkish army would be completely destroyed. What does it say? You know, I can't tell you, Nico. I can't tell any of you. Because any one of us could be the wolf. You know, it's not me. The Armenian said it was a German. He said he worked for the Germans. It couldn't be me. I'm a Greek. Do you think I'd work for the Turks? Maybe you think the Greeks would be better off with the Germans in charge. And what is my reason for being a traitor? Pray be so good as to tell me. I would be most interested to know. You call yourself a white Russian, Vasily. But you could be a Leninist. That would make you an enemy of the Allies. A Leninist? No, that is an insult. And Victor, of course, is Alsatian, which means his loyalties are divided between France and Germany. Thank you, Stefan. We all know that Bulgarians hate everyone. Who knows where their loyalties lie? One of us is a double agent. As soon as I can, I'll telegraph headquarters. Let him run a check on each and every one of us. In the meantime... In the meantime, you should be in bed. One of us can take you if you like. With this letter in my hand like a stick of dynamite? I don't think so. I'll put it in a safe place until I have an opportunity to contact Kamal again. No one will know where this is. No one except me. He'll collapse in the street. With that letter in his hand. Like a stick of dynamite. Maybe we should go after him. Time for coded messages. I have a double agent in my command. Yes, sir. I need a complete check run on everyone. Yes, sir, immediately. I called the agency, but they said you weren't well. Your arm. What happened? You were right. I asked too many questions. 
Did you go to a doctor? No, oh, no, no. My friend Stefan, he took care of it. It's still bleeding. You're feverish. I'm going out to get some iodine and a proper dressing. Can you manage to get undressed? No, 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 Molly, I've got to get back no, to the office. No, you're not going anywhere except back to bed. Yes, ma'am. It's you. You're so nervous. What happened? Nothing. You know, I asked too many questions. I was working on an article, the black market, stolen French goods. I guess I'll have to write about something else. You must be more careful. I worry about you. I'll be okay. Are you hungry? No. I'm just a little bit tired. You're truly wonderful, Molly. <laughs> you know that. It's getting late. I must go before nightfall. Tomorrow, I'll make you dinner. You don't have to. I'll get it. No. Nails, it's me, Igor. Molly Von, this is Igor Vasily. He works with me at the bureau. Charmed, I'm sure. Nils has told me so much about you. I'm sorry, but I'll be late for the ferry. Nils, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Goodbye. Thanks. She's quite attractive. What's happening at the office? Everything is dead quiet. It seems almost eerie. Do you still have the red document? Why? Headquarters wants to know. Is it here? Is it safe? It's not here, but it's safe. You're going to need help in this, Henry. You can trust me. I'll manage. Mm. Mm. I didn't know that I was going to marry such a good cook. I, I still have to learn Swedish cooking. Right. Americans, fine. I wrote to my parents yesterday and told them to get ready for a wedding as soon as the war is over. Your family will come, won't they? Well, there's really only my father. I must go. Well, I wish you didn't have to. So do I. But they lock the orphanage gates at 9 o'clock. You don't have a fever now. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> I love you, Molly. I love you, too. Nils, I'm not going. Molly, are you sure? I'm sure. I 
I must get back before they miss me. I'll go with you. Isn't it strange that we've only known each other in wartime? I mean, what if when the war is over, we're two different people? Someone said that to me once before. Was it a girl? Her name was Vicky. It was in London, and, and we were in love with each other, but, but we didn't get married. And she said that we could be two different people after the war. I shouldn't have told you. No, no, I'm glad that you did. Let's always be honest with each other. We will. You know, I feel selfish thinking about the wedding with the war still going on. But I can't wait to start planning it. I, I wish I was your wife now. My parents would say that what we did last night was a sin. Do you think that it was? I don't know. I just know I love you. And I trust you. And I love you. She wants to tell you fortune. Oh, no, Nels. I Come can't. on, I love these fortune tellers. They always tell you what you want to hear. Eh? Come on, Molly. All right. You have to ask her a question. Will our love last forever? Ir birmitsi servelen. Seven, seven. <laughs> Here, put my coat on. Oh. Come on, Nils. I I've got to hurry. What do you want? Mr. Anderson. Who gave this to you? Hey! What happens if our double agent has informed the war minister? You need help. I have to do this alone. And if you don't return, who takes over here? You will. You're the only one I trust. So you are taking a red document with you? Yeah. You have it on you now? No, I'll pick it up on the way. You take care. You are a target, you know, with that document. Mr. Anderson. Have you heard of the Mevliviani? Yes, sir. It's a sort of spiritual brotherhood celebrating the belief of a 13th century mystic known as Mavlan. <laughs> Vulgarly known in the West as the whirling dervishes. Mevlana believed that human beings were composed of spirit, reason, and love, which they could combine to make a representation of heaven on earth. They're dancing represents the ecstasy of achieving this unity. Absurd superstition, no? Mm. Such a beautiful ambition. Of course, I don't believe it. Come on, Shkabelusen. I think you have something for me. Yes, sir.
What is this? This is not from the French government. It is signed by an officer in French intelligence. What is your position in all this? These are not the terms which I was given to believe. Terms? This document doesn't offer terms. It's a barefaced bribe. If I will agree to give Syria to France and hand over our border states to the Allies, then the French will help me to overthrow the Sultan and Enver Pasha and put me in charge of a puppet republic. Mr. Anderson, if that is your name, which I doubt, you may have been led to believe that all Turks can be bribed. But I can assure you, that is not true. Sir, I'm sure that there's room for negotiation. If you were to make a separate peace, it would at least save lives. <laughs> These people are not interested in that. They're like vultures feeding on the dying carcass of the Ottoman Empire. The Empire is dying, but this nation is not. And it will not die as long as I live. 700 years of Anatolian tradition. But we must move on. I dream of an independent new Turkey. When that's a reality, your spy masters will not dare to treat me like a Mongolian warlord. I'm sorry, sir. Believe me, I shall achieve my dream, but not through that. The man. Mr. Anderson, get that out of my sight. Do you have the document? Come quickly. Where? Come, come. Come Put your hands off of me. I think I know who the wolf is. And he may suspect I know. You must get rid of that paper. It killed for me. Yeah, you, I'm sure he would. You think it's me? I don't know who it is. You haven't told me yet. You think it's yet. me? Sadala? <laughs> 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 Did you see Kemal before he left? I'm not interested. He threw this back in my face. Sadala is not here yet. Sadala is dead. He was shot in the back. Before he died, he gave me a clue as to who the wolf is. I know it's one of you. I've closed down the agency. I want everybody to lie low until I contact them. Are you sure Sadala isn't the wolf? I'm not sure of anything anymore. I'll check around and everybody will come back from headquarters tomorrow. Then I'll know. What's wrong? How could you? Mustafa Kamal sent a letter around to Halide and she came to tell me. It said, did you know that your Swedish journalist was a French spy? You are a spy. You used my friendship with Halide to get to Mustafa Kamal, didn't you? No, 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 Molly. So Mustafa Kamal was lying? No, Molly, but it's, it's not like that. Well, what is it like? Molly, it's true that I work for French intelligence. But you didn't trust me enough to tell me. No, 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 Molly, I just didn't want to involve you. Involve me? Did you know that Halide said that to the Turks, I am an enemy alien, 
And, and if I put one foot wrong, I could be deported. You know how much my work at the orphanage means to me, and you involve me with a French spy. My name is Henry Jones. Most of my friends call me Andy. I'm American. Molly. So your father isn't a professor in Sweden? Princeton. Did you tell me anything that was true? Yes, Molly. Molly, I told you that I loved you. You know that's true. Do I? You think you can just take the disguise off and say, look, I know you loved Nils Anderson, but I'm, I'm someone quite different. I'm me, love me instead. Yes, Molly, because underneath is the same me. Who are you? I trusted you. I, I trusted you enough to... Do you think I would have done that if I thought that you were lying to me? No, 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 my mom feels so stupid, so betrayed, so ashamed. Come here. Molly, listen to me. Molly, please, just listen to me. Molly, would you listen to me, please? When I was fighting in the trenches, I saw thousands of people killed for nothing. A lot of them were my friends. If I'd have succeeded in shortening this war, even by a day, I'd have saved thousands of lives. I thought I could do that without hurting you. Do you honestly think I could spend the rest of my life with you, never knowing whether or not you were lying to me? I never want to see you again. Trap did not work, Henry. <gasps> Stefan! Stefan! <sighs> Molly? Oh my god, Molly? Molly? I came to say, I don't care about what happened. 
I just want to spend the rest of my life with you. Molly? 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 Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. We are here to sign a treaty of peace. They have drafted a document that is so fierce it will bankrupt Germany. I just don't believe you. I've heard Mr. Wilson speak. He's far too bright to make these kinds of mistakes. There will be no negotiations. We have given you terms and you will sign. Where is your peace? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat it.